Hi, good day. Welcome to CMS. We'll continue today the cost breakdown in cost estimation. Last time we finished the finishing work. So we'll start now find how CMS entering the other lump sum work and subcontract work. For MAB, we informed before how to insert the MAB in the quantity surveying for all electric work and sanitary and fire system and HVAC system. And this, as we informed before, either it will be direct by the subcontractors or we can make a tentative cost estimation to confirm or to ensure the fitness of the subcontract price. We saw how CMS treat with the MAB work in the quantity surveying. CMS only taking this price and reflecting this price in this sheet of the cost breakdown and inserting whatever we insert in the cost breakdown as we are seeing here that's for electric work that's the cost of electric work and the price after we inserting the overhead and profit the same also for water supply and drainage so that's the cost which we inserted before in the MAB quantity surveying work here is the thermal and moisture protection what we did before is inserting the description and the quantities for all the waterproofing system in the quant surveying work. When we work in the quant surveying, here in the finishing and waterproofing, whatever we inserted here from quantities, we'll find it's reflected on the cost estimation. Waterproof. What we will do is only inserting the cost per meter for each type of the activity. How much per meter for each type? Or if we have a lump sum like this, we'll just add the lump sum price. So each type will just add the cost per meter. At the end, we'll find the total cost of the waterproofing and the final price after we add the overhead and profit. The same for the metal. The metal is the aluminium. As we saw before, how to insert it, all the opening, we'll find here all the openings description with all numbers this as the same as we inserted in the quant surveying machinery opening schedule we'll find here the aluminium works whatever we inserted here description and dimension and numbers we'll find it here directly in the cost estimation break down what we will do, we will insert only the price per square meter. Usually, the subcontractors of aluminium and metal, they are giving the price according to square meters. That's the common figure and way to calculate the aluminium work or metal work to give you an indication for the price of the aluminium work. Of course, you will ensure this by collecting quotations for this activity. At the end, we'll find here the cost for the aluminium work and the price. And also here the weight or the ratio against the total project value. The same here for handrails, whatever we inserted before in the quantity surveying, the lens, you will insert here also the cost only per running meter or square meter according to your discretion. For cabinet, the same. That's the type of cabinet which already inserted in quantity surveying before here, just for reminding the finishing work. That's the cabinet here. We insert already this, these descriptions and these quantities. Back, quantity surveying. For timber work, also the same. That's the description which already inserted before in the opening. The same for the quantities. What you will do now, you will insert the cost for each type of doors. Each type of door, you will insert only the cost of this and the profit ratio. After we will insert it, you will find the new, the final price, which will give it to the client in the POQ or your quotation. After this, the landscape. We already inserted this here before in the quantity surveying of landscape and the quantities also. You will insert here the price 
per meter. According to your drawings, according to the specification, you will provide all the type of landscape, softscape or hardscape as you, according to your discretion. The quantities, according to your drawing, which you calculated by within your drawing, and you will add here only the price per meter. At the end, you will find the total, the total cost and the price and the weight of this activity against the project value. After this, we have the boundary wall. Actually, the boundary wall here is very easy to insert it. You will insert only the length of boundary wall and the height of the boundary wall and spacing between each columns. According to the drawing, you will calculate the length and you will calculate the height. If you have different heights, you can take the average and the spacing between the, between the columns. Also, if you have a different spacing, you can take the average and insert it here. Accordingly, CMS will calculate for you all the required concrete, block work, plaster work, and other type of finishing, and the gates price. Let's have a look how CMS will calculate all this and how to make any modification if required. CMS consider a common dimension of the uh, foundation for each column under each column which will which will be one by one with height of 0.35 if you have another information you will just add the same also for the bcc that's the side beam lens and you consider here 0.2 width and 0.4 for depth for column he consider the height is 2.5 which is the height of the boundary wall dimension of the column the same for coping beam, dimension of the coping beam. He will calculate the numbers according to this spacing and the length of the boundary wall. Accordingly, CMS calculate all the required concrete for each element. The steel also for each element by percentage. He calculates by percentage. The labor which are required for this. He gave also here some margin. And the total, that's the total cost for the concrete work. The same here for the block work. A solid block under the side beam that's the quantity you will calculate all the required material and manpower the same also for the hollow block here you calculate all the required materials and manpower and you will give and he gave you the total cost for the block work the same also for the plastering you will insert the type of mixing the plaster either it is mixed on site or ready mortar also the type of finishing we have either paint or cladding you will just insert here the quantities of cladding or grc accordingly it will be deducted from the paint and plaster work at the end cms will give you the total cost of the boundary wall and the price and they will give you here an indication for cost per running meter after this, you need to insert the lump sum prices. CMS here giving you some lump sum descriptions. What you have to do, you have to insert these lump sums as you will provide from your subcontractors. Or here is the item which is not under CMS scope of calculation. So you'll provide it from a subcontractor. If you have a mobilization, so maybe you will need our crane and site offices and fencing and whatever you can calculate this all and insert it one by one in the POQ after you insert it in the POQ you will find the final price will appear for you directly also building permits and uh, whatever you have for design cost and whatever you will insert it here for the watering work you will insert here for shoring for piling you will insert here you can provide here the quantity of piles and the productivity per day. This will help for arranging the time schedule. For stainless steel work, you will insert it here. You can also give the area for the stainless steel work. That's only for scheduling purpose. If there is a fiber, a fiber protection for the tanks, you will insert only here the cost per meter, and CMS will calculate for you the total cost because we already have the tanks area if it's not, if this number is okay for you you keep it otherwise you can change and insert it manually 
the cost for fire system and the air condition which it will be extracted from the MAP cost estimation as we did before the elevator work you will insert it also manually if you have a steel ladder you will insert it steel structure work you can insert it also manually you can add here the area for also scheduling purpose the garbage chute the lens for scheduling purpose for also a manpower determination the infrastructure work which will be inserted directly here according to your infrastructure BOQ which we already talked about before and as it mentioned here insert this item price in infra BOQ only and the others activity which you can add the description directly and the cost according to your subcontractors quotations that's all the activities required in the building construction and that's how to insert all the price and to get the cost estimation after this we have to go for the profit the overhead and the profit are a very important part in CMS there are hidden overhead cannot be directly asked from the client but it must be added in each activity like the project overhead and the preliminaries like also office overhead like taxes and the authority fees like uh, contingencies which are required to be added for the project cost to provide the budget of the project otherwise without contingency maybe you will be in trouble later so according to your requirement and according to your company policy you have to add all of these so for project overhead according to the engineering practice it started from 5% till 15% we'll consider here as a 7% and this will be distributed for all project activity also for office overhead which is the amount shared by the project to run the head office and according to the engineering practice it is starting from 2% till 8% we'll consider here 3% also if you have tax must be added here and of course you have to add a contingency we'll consider five percent of contingency so that means we have here almost 15 percent overhead which is called approximate 31 million it will be added on the project's dry cost according to this you will have a 15 percent of the project's price as an overhead in this case we have to add a profit percentage to cover this overhead and to maintain a management reserve above the project budget so the project budget equal all the direct and the indirect costs including this overhead plus the contingency and the project budget plus the management reserve will give you the project price how much you will sell the project it's equal the project budget and the management reserve or the net profit therefore we have to add here the profit for the project we have to add here and profit ratio otherwise you have the price here 210 but your cost exact will be more than 242 that means you will lose this amount of course you will not work like this so we have to add here a project profit ratio for your project how to add this one actually CMS divided the profit ratio for two categories or two types the first one is related to the civil construction profit ratio which is related to the all the civil construction which shall be done directly by the main contractor like earthwork and concrete and the block and the plaster and the rough type of finishing this all considered as a civil construction work and a finishing profit ratio which can be handled by a subcontractors directly if you like to keep the same ratio you can keep both are equal if you like to do this according to your discretion and according to your company policy if you are taking up a same profit for the work done in house and the work done by subcontractor they can put the same ratio if they are taking more profit ratio in the work done in house than the uh, work done by subcontractor you can add here more than here 
So we need to add numbers here to reach for a reasonable and accepted management reserve and accepted net profit ratio. So if you if your company policy is to have a net profit ratio around 10%, it means you have to put numbers here to allow 10% profit. So if your company consider the activities which will be implemented by a subcontractor will have a profit ratio 10% minus the activities which will be implemented by a main contractor. So this equal this minus 10. Then we'll go for goal seek. We need this to be 10, right? So we'll choose this and we'll ask for goal seek. This one to be 10. When we change here. Okay. Okay. Then we'll find here to achieve 10% as a profit, which is almost 25 million. The profit ratio for the civil construction shall be 35%, and the profit ratio for the activities shall be, which shall be implemented by a subcontractor must have a 25%. Accordingly, the final price of the project will be 276, and we'll find these ratios now are distributed in all activities. Call these activities with, as a subcontract activity, it have only a 25%. For mobilization, it have a 35%. If we'll go and check the earth work, we'll find here 35% added, and now we have a final price, and we have a profit for each activity, that's for the concrete. We have also the same, that's the cost, and that's the price, and that's the profit. Block work, we have also the same. So now we have a price per meter different than the cost per meter for each type of block. And we have now the cost for all block work and profit. The same also for plaster. That's the profit ratio. That's the cost. Cost per meter. That's the price. That's the price per meter. And that's the total cost and total price and so on. For everything you will have now a profit ratio and the variance between the price and the cost with it which is the profit of this activity this for all activities now we have a final dry cost for the project we have a budget for your project which not allowed to be exceeded during the project execution and we have now the final price this price and all these prices you'll find it automatically reflected in the POQ as we'll see now when we open the POQ and we'll make the step one and step two you will find the final price for each activity not the cost now you have now the final price automatically without any effort if we go for the summary now you will see now we have the final price not the cost 276 million three hundred twenty four thousand and five hundred forty that's the same number of the price which is here this is came automatically and distributed in all the activities automatically then generated a priced POQ automatically that's for the cost estimation how we inserted the resources price and how same is calculated for us all the activities cost breakdown and we saw how to deal with lump sum and subcontracts and we saw how to calculate the overhead and profit to reach for a reasonable price for our project and also we saw how to find the final budget for the project which shall not be exceeded during our project execution and we saw how same is provide for us a final automatically priced bill of quantity for the project. CMS will distribute all this percentage in the over each activity in the breakdown and in the BOQ. That means when we go for the BOQ from cost estimation, we'll find here a priced 
B O Q. All the divisions, for example, you will find here the all the descriptions, all the quantities. Now we have the rates. The rates is the dry cost the plus the overhead and the profits, and of course the final price for each activity. That's for all B O Q divisions. As you see here, that's for the site work, the excavation, the backfilling, and termite, concrete work, for all foundations, substructure, or the substructure elements, quantities, rates, and the price. Here's the breakdown of the substructure, which is concrete and rebar and shutters. You will find here also the full description for the element and the quantities of the rebar and the rates of the rebar work, which is material and manpower and extras and also overhead and profit, and the total price for each element itself. Here is the concrete, all the description of the concrete, the full quantity of the concrete, the rates of the concrete for each element, depend on the price of the concrete and manpower and the overhead and profit, and of course the, full, the total price for each element. The same for the rebar, for the substructure, all the description and the quantities, and that the rates according to material and manpower and all expenses plus the overhead and the profit, and here is the total price for the rebar here also the same for the shutters and so on the same for the superstructure all the elements of superstructure quantities and rates cu per cubic meter and of course the total price along with their breakdown quantity of the concrete price of concrete total price here is the rebar price of the rebar post tension total price of post tension shutters and the total price with the breakdown for the shutters. The same we'll find for every element. To have a proper PELF quantity with all our requirements, step one, click to run the BOQ. CMS will tell you that CMS completed step one, go to step two, say okay. We have, as we informed before, to fill the mobilization and preliminaries which is which not considered before in the cost estimation because as we said in the cost estimation that must be filled here manually here we can find for the mobilization and the preliminaries all the requirements like access for site office fencing temporary lighting temporary utilities and whatever required for the project this must be filled here as a final price to the owner you will insert quantity the rate you will insert the, the quantity and the rate and CMS will give you the full the final price for each item of this the price for the signboard and any other prices any other extra prices you need to add to have finally a ready POQ for information, this POQ not included the infrastructure. The infrastructure have a separate POQ as we said in the cost estimation. Let's start render the POQ. CMS is telling you here. CMS will start rendering POQ now. It will take a few minutes to continue. Please click OK and wait. Let's agree for this and wait till it's finished the rendering. After compilation, CMS telling that BOQ is ready. You have the summary here. Have all the divisions cost. Have all the divisions price and that's the final price. You can go through the BOQ. Find all the divisions are filled. And completed. So let's brief now what are the process or the steps which took place in CMS from the beginning of the project. First, we start in the quantity surveying. We insert the project description. We work in the structure work. All type of the structure. The masonry work. We insert the opening and the block work. 
the finishing work all type of the finishings internal partitions external waterproofing and rail cabinets landscape and boundary wall finishing works and MAB all aspects of the MAB those was the input the outputs which we got the material takeoff have all the materials and this sheet for printing you have a clear output for the material takeoff for your for your project the same also for the belt quantity which also able to be printed second step is the cost estimation we inserted only the resources prices same as give us a full activities breakdown which able also to be printed as an output we inserted the lump sum price and subcontract price and we learned how to add the overhead and profit for the project then same as give us a full priced pair of quantity for printing that's till now till now we have a full cost estimation for the project according to our project we have full priced BOQ with a full estimated cost for our project next we'll go for the scheduling of the project we'll see how CMS give us a tentative schedule for the project and work program thank you and goodbye